Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, really grateful that you're with me today just for a couple of minutes as we jump into the Word of God. If you have your Bibles, you can turn to Acts chapter 15. Scroll there, flip there, turn there, whatever it takes. I'm going to pray for us, and then we'll read uh, one and a half verses today. Father, thank you for your Word, and I pray that we would really be equipped to contend earnestly for the faith once and for all given to the saints. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the scripture says this in chapter 15, um, and I'll explain the context. We're kind of parachuting in on this. But some men came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, unless you are, by the way, this is wrong, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So, so you know, Paul and Barnabas come back to Syri- Syrian Antioch, the church there. They're talking about this great work of God among the Gentiles. Um, there's a group of Judaizers from Jerusalem that come down and they hear about this thing, you know, about God's grace being extended to Gentiles, and they don't like it. You know, they don't like it because their view is this, that Gentiles first have to be converted to Judaism. They need to become proselytes to Judaism. And then after they've done that, by the way, that's um, if they're males, it is a circumcision, it is obeying Torah, and it's it's the mikvah ritual washing. And after they've done that, Um, then they can put their trust and faith in Jesus. And so really it was a a different gospel. But I'm just saying like right off the bat, right? Right off the bat, there's conflict. Right off the bat, the adversary, the devil, is seeking to undermine the purity and the beauty of the simple yet powerful message of the gospel. And um, by the way, this never went away for Paul as he planted churches. There was always a group of these Judaizers following Paul around, telling Gentiles falsely that they're not really saved unless they're converted to Judaism first and, and obey Torah. Now, if you read the book of Galatians, that's what this is all about. That's why Paul says, man, are you going to complete in the flesh what God began in the spirit? Someone has come to you and preached a false gospel. And listen, the message today is this. There is, there is always going to be an attack against the gospel of Jesus Christ. There, it's always going to be the case. There's always going to be something in every generation that is seeking, the devil is seeking to pollute, right? A little bit of leaven into the pure gospel of Jesus Christ, to turn it into something that God never intended it to be. Maybe, you know, it is, it may, well, it was, it was these Judaizers saying, well, you have to become a proselyte to Judaism. Um, there are others who say, well, you have to, you have to um, engage in the seven sacraments of the church. This is Catholicism. These are means of grace, and you have to do these things Uh, so that you can secure the grace of God. Um, It may be, you know, I think about Seventh-day Adventists, and it's like, well, no, the the true day of worship is Saturday, and if you worship on Sunday, then you've believed in, you know, uh, a false gospel, and you're worshiping the sun god. Um, There, in every generation, has been um, some type of pollution of the gospel, which means you and I have to earnestly contend for the faith. I, I, I see this in Paul and Barnabas. You know, there was no small dissension and debate, which means it was huge, right? They drew a line in the sand and they went toe to toe with these people that were trying to turn the gospel of Christ into something that it wasn't. You know, there, there are a lot of places that we can have disagreements as, as believers. You know, there are a lot of non-essentials that it's like, well, you know, I mean, okay, oh, yeah, I do believe. I'm pretty strongly convicted in full immersion baptism, but, um, you know, if someone sprinkles with water, am I going to make a massive issue over that? No, no, not necessarily. Um, you can think of a lot of different things that are kind of um, non-essential issues that we can have differences of opinion over and maybe issues of, of preference too. We think about worship styles and uh, we think you know, about 
the way people dress, and there, of course, are a lot of differences in the body of Christ. However, there are things that are essentials that we absolutely cannot compromise on. There are things that we will never negotiate over. And the gospel, right, the power of the gospel in its simplicity, just as Jesus said that if you believe in him, you shall be saved. Like he said to the thief that was hanging on the cross next to him, you know, in response to, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom, assuredly I say to you, you today you will be with me in paradise. Like that is the message of the gospel. And that's where the power is at. Look, once you start adding to it your works, you know, or your preferences, or your ideas, or your laws, or your regulations, you have stripped the power away because now it's no longer what he did on the cross for you, it's what you bring to the table through your own efforts. And so listen, you know, I mean, Stand your ground on the gospel of Jesus Christ. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.